folks, Cruelly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Count of Paris. Well, we're actually the uh, the Duke of, um, you go there, the Duke of Orléans right now, and we are in yet another war against our king, because he keeps wanting to take Paris away from us, and that is annoying and stupid. So, we have said no once more, because he's a big poopy head. Uh, group together. Can I grab that guy? No. Let's just go ahead and de-siege over here. We're at 64% war score. Here, uh, we are getting the Italian troops are finally joining in here, and that might indeed cause us a little bit of a problem. Um, it actually is going to be that much more important than that we continue to bop these armies before they all merge up, actually. I don't suppose I can raise any more. Nope, not right now. I still have my uh, my mercs up as well. Fairly expensive. Need to like. I don't know if the king fights. Probably not. He has come of age though. Sixty-seven percent. Grab another little group over here. And we do have sort of a ticking war score kind of effect, right, in our favor. I think that's a thing? I don't know. Lolard Uprising. That's not my Lolard Uprising, which I don't know exactly what that means, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll go and de-siege Anjou. We got definitely keep an eye on our money, although we can extort subjects, I guess, and we might again. Keep the war going. Oh, yes, we've got a bright or attractive kid here. Um, looks like we'll have to go martial education here too, just to combo everything up properly. Yeah, if we can catch another little army here and just keep bopping these guys. Um, you propose that Frozen Shadow Dragon and this guy marry. Uh, I'm going to decline. I want Frozen Shadow Dragon to get married, but I want to match a linear marriage. Not the Panzer Tard. None of these are terribly helpful. We can get some more attractive blood in our bloodline. Let me hold off on that. Maybe after this war ends, there might be a few more options here. I'm not actually going to be able to catch this guy. All right, just go back to Anjou. Now, we might be able to win against superior forces if we force them to attack us across a big river. I'm just going to chill here for the um, the unsiege first. 69% war score. Unseaging this will help us out a little bit. Might not get to 100, which is ultimately what we need. Oh, who died? One of our... Or Marshall went away. Um, Ian in Canada is actually pretty good over here. Um, he'd be a malcontent, though. But he's very good. Still, you know what? I'm going to put Matt Fried over here. He's even content and everything like that, so he should be perfectly fine. Um, can I not make those changes at war? That's what I'm starting to think. Yeah, let's just come back. So there's this big army here. And so as long as they attack us, we should be okay. I might be able to bait them into it if I do something like, first of all, over here. There's no reason I couldn't say split in half. Grab one of these guys and just go and do that. Might slow down some of the siege rate a little bit, but it should be okay. So in distrust between the mayor and the king. That is good. That's fine. Tell you what, why don't you go and start doing that in Flanders? Alright, a little victory there. And we can actually start sieging there, because why not? It's a little bit riskier. It's safer to do it in Naples, because of the river placement and everything. But it's alright. Uh, my vassal has embraced a dangerous heresy. We can engage him in a theological debate because we have a high learning skill. Let's try to make him no longer a lowlard. Ah, yeah, that's Provence. I utterly convinced by your learned arguments. Rest assured, I will never stray again. So presumably, yeah, he's Catholic. Awesome. And a big relationship boost. Uh, mobs are between his lowest veterans to flock to the banner of the king to fight against us. Oh, come on. We're at 74% war score. 
We still have a little bit of money left. All right. Siege, siege, siege. They have massed their army together a little bit, but so far so good. Strong child. Yeah, you're also going to go for, like, struggle, which hopefully will give you more martial. We could get more money if we need to, which is good. There we go. Can you just... Is there something weird with the other interface? I guess so. There, that worked. Um, we are going to change train troops in Paris. Okay, and we got to keep a close eye on where these guys are going to. They're probably coming in for an attack, actually. Um, I am going to preemptively move to here. Nope. Never mind. They're changing their minds, so will I. They might be trying to siege Paris. No, they're not. I don't know. That siege is done. We're now at 82. Things are currently going my way. Mm. I mean, you do have a lot of dudes. I will give you that. Are you going to try to de-siege your capital? I guess it's kind of legit. Oh, Le Mans. Siege over here. Yeah, they're taking their stuff back. They might be doing some assaults. But I don't know if I have, like, the manpower to expend on that. Because they definitely took some hits doing that. Alright, that's done. We're gonna siege some more things over here. Oh, 100%! Finally, in force demands. You don't get Paris. I mean, <laughs> it's expensive as hell to fight. But it's also very fun, because we're not doing a ton of warfare except picking on people who are really easily vulnerable. Okay, so, now that we've got that... Yeah, a list of, like, unmarried... Hold on, I guess I could do that, right? Find characters. Search... And I can save a filter as well. So I could say something like... Unmarried... Adult... Of my dynasty. Save in slot zero. So these are people I have to marry off. Oh, this is really handy, actually. I could go shopping around. Countess of Lombardy. Duchess of Bourbon. Bourbon. And you're the actual Duchess right now. Uh, are you? I mean, it says that in your title. Yes. Oops. Um, what am I looking to do? You. Do this. You're 19... So, if Panzertard and you marry, this will your children will be of my dynasty, and potentially get some offsprings that work out real well for us. Matrilinearly, like this is a little tough. Um, I don't suppose there's any chance in hell that I could arrange a marriage between Frozen Shadow Dragon. No. Oh, wait, what's this? I don't want to be in this revolt. Gilbark's claim on West Francia. I mean, this is fine. I guess if I lose this one, it doesn't make a difference. So I don't give a... Oh, this is a war that's happening here, but I haven't officially joined on anyone's side. Yeah. And we've got some people we can ransom off as well. Um, the Queen... I don't suppose you've got anyone, I mean, you've got a courtier, but none of this is very helpful. Hmm. Well, we could do a non-matrilinear marriage, or we could just wait. Let's wait a couple of years and then try again. See if anything else has come up. Uh, except the suggestion's good. You're going to appoint me the Chancellor. Well, see, just stop trying to take Paris away from me. We could be best friends, man. Clearly, I'm going to have to overthrow the king. Anyway, meanwhile, um... Oh, yeah, I'm still trying to kill him. 
<laughs> um, let's just cancel that. Do I want to stay on intrigue focus? I might want to do like hunting for Marshall. I could go for more kids, but I mean, we've got a we've got a dynasty going on. Uh, not family tree. How how many living people? Not that one either. Are there in our dynasty? There's 22 living members. We've got a fair amount of security, especially with seniority stuff. I don't think we have to worry about popping out too many kids. Hunting's great. You get the hunting dog, hunt a white stag, do all that kind of stuff. We've already got pretty good martial skill. Just sort of keep piling it on. Um, on the other hand, I mean, there's other things we could... We've got enough domain we could do a little bit more. Um, stewardship and everything like that would give us more money. You know what? I'm, I don't think I've ever gone business. I'm going to do that. I would love to develop some of our cities a little bit more. Now, I think I will stop developing Paris because I'm still worried one day we might lose it. Um, we are definitely locked in on the Duchy of Orleans. So um, what we will probably do doesn't really matter between these two. These are both uh, five holding max provinces. Um, triple taxation. Yeah, that'll go away eventually. I think we'll make officially Orléans is going to be the next place that we develop over here. We will focus on that. We did get it earlier. We'd already built some stuff. So that's probably what's going to happen. Um, my prisoner, this mayor. He's a lunatic. But how bad is that? Hmm. He's a lunatic. Um, I'm just going to let him rot. I'm going to... Hold on. Can I get him to convert? Torture, humiliate. No. I mean, we could just ransom him then. That's probably what I'll just do. You really hate me. So you don't get to leave. I mean, you hate me as well, but what else are you going to do? You're a carling. That's interesting. Yeah, you don't have a role. I think there was a revolt for that. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and ransom everyone I've got right now. Raise a bunch of funds. 112 gold. That's not too shabby. We'll start with that. There's at least a couple people where maybe they don't have any ransoms available. Um, I've done the utmost to present my liege favor blight. Oh, excellent. Improving relations, I guess, is good. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no, we're fine. You're fine, you're fine. Um, invite the plot. You want to kill Pepin the evil. You know what? Sure. Let's see how that works. Trim, trim the Carling line a little bit, because clearly they're a big problem. So no one wants to ransom you. Oh, you'll be ransomed. I don't know why it didn't go. Oh, it's considering another offer. Okay, well, we'll chill. Okay. That's a good way to raise money for our coffers. And just like that, we can build a castle town over here in Orléans, which will give us more tax dollars going forward. We've got an open council position. Our chancellor, okay, you really don't like me. What's up with you? you got a fever and fatigue. You're probably going to die soon. Claire Ward defeated me. Tyrant. Oh, you're ambitious as well. I think I'll just leave you be. You're probably going to, like, flip out, and I can maybe revoke something from you. I'm going to grab the mayor over here, because happy mayors are very good for me. And we're going to... I'm going to improve diplomatic relations in Paris, because we've got a bunch of little um, uh, of little barons and mayors and stuff like that in there, and I think that might actually prove to be helpful. Actually, our vassals, a lot of them... Well, some of the mayors, I say, should be better, but yeah. There's a lot of, like, like four levels of tyrant over here. It's going to last until 819. Yeah, and that's because of all of our fundraising. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this ambition. King, acquire title, build war chest. I don't know, we'll take the Grumanair. 
fertility raise and with something we can satisfy, that's going to be okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna throw him in the oubliette. Get this guy to die off. His heir actually doesn't hate me, so I think that'll be okay. Haven't designated a regent yet. I don't know. Do we want to do that? I want someone who likes me a lot. Um, and someone who's content like that. He's already my steward. Let's go and get him to like me a little bit more. And hopefully that'll be okay. Um, oh. We've upset something. Mm. So yeah, we got a failed relationship boosting in Paris here, but I think that's fine. Max total, unraised. Things are still coming back up. We're still far away from retinue tech. That's all right. We also have no ability to build any real boats. I mean, you know, you can build little, little fishing dinghies, basically. But proper, like, war fleets and things to carry troops, no. Um, you admire the admi uh, admire the ambition of, of Declare Glory. Well, thank you, Ian in Canada. Uh, you're still pretty pissy. Uh, beg me to help him become as successful as me. It was almost disgusting how he admired my ambition and success. I'll teach you, but I gotta charge you. Leave me alone. Oh, well, we'll hit this. So we get prestige here. Here we get money and a slight relationship improvement. Not... Oh, that's the king. Um, I'm looking at the wrong person. I wasn't looking at Ian. Uh, there's a man I need to arrest, another I need to assassinate. My spy master could help with the arrest or the assassination, but not both. Either way, we get more prosperity. This is more plot power chance. Oh, great. Right. So this just gives me a bonus to, to things. Speaking of plots, how's that assassination? Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm going to hit the arrest chance bonus for a year, because there's a good chance that someone might start some shit and I can arrest them and maybe take, like, this. Righteous imprisonment. So Ian is now plotting something. Ian, what are you planning? You want to kill me. I can just ask him to stop the plot. Their opinion of me is here, mostly because of the tyrant. And we're both ambitious. That's a big problem. He's going to keep trying to start some shit with me. But I'm not going to imprison someone in my family. Not now. Especially, like, he's, he's saying yes to stopping the plot, so we're going to do that. I mean, he will. He should say yes. Don't murder me, bro. Well, you're not my bro, but there you go. Yes. Your scheming's misguided. Exactly. So still a little bit of internal conflict in the realm, but it shouldn't affect me too much. Wealth going at 2.5, which isn't bad. We are building that castle town. See, some of these tax dollars are pretty damn low here. Um, yeah. it's Our relationships are bad. This, this tyrant stuff was good short-term money, but it's certainly coming to bite us in the butt in terms of actually producing things quickly. I'm curious to see if we'll get any events with the business focus stuff. I mean, because hunting gets a ton. Uh, let's go up to speed four. And childhood focus for Supernova, who is quick. That's great. Uh, tell you what, you're you're quick. We're going to make you thrifty. Maybe you can work some books. And Yuko Finn will work on intrigue. I do like some high intrigue women to send out in the world to screw with other people's uh, kingdoms in favor of my dynasty. Assuming we can keep up a good relationship. And we will try. So this is... Oh! I was going to say, this is looking like a mess, but that rebellion just finished. I mean, it's still a terrible, terrible patchwork over here. More title revocation laws. Speaking of laws, how's my situation? Is there anything I can do over here? No. Okay, that's fine. Now what? Oh, shit. You son of a bitch. We don't have a, um, we don't have a goddamn peace with this guy. Screw you. Oops. Let's pause, pause. He just did this. And I don't know if I have enough money. He doesn't have a ton of troops, but I really don't have a ton of troops. 
up. Meet up in Paris first. Or you know what? Go to Maine, and then we'll go after these guys. That's better. It's a little bit more central. Oh, come on. That's the problem with, like, changing the ruler here. Should just give up Paris, but... I mean, at this point, this is just, like... This is the challenge in the game. Can we hold on to Paris? I was going to go after these guys. This river crossing... Well, I can cross here and then do that, I suppose. Although, it looks like you're move here, so I will do something slightly different. Get you there. Just a small river crossing. I didn't actually check to see who was leading what along the way. I mean... I don't know how important it is to micro this, or if, like they're actually doing the right thing, or, or what the deal is. This, this area of the game is still a little bit weird. Pop some more. We're already at 65%. Uh, Mission to Paris has improved some relations, which is great. 71%. Yeah, this is like... This is going to be it here. Castle Town's been built in Orléans. That's nice. Uh, there's an Infidel... Oh. I'm not going to banish my spy master. He's cool, man. He's family. Family-in-law. Wait. Wait. Did you just disband your troops or something? That's sort of what it looks like. She's growing older. I can see that Brianna can do some guidance in my experience areas. Uh, I don't want to become stressed. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I don't want to get a big penalty to all the things. Like, why are these, why are these child-raising events bad? Who knew that raising children would suck so badly? Well, I do. Oh my god, you got a bunch of troops all of a sudden. Ooh, tech points from Constantinople. Nice. Okay, 80%. Okay, we have to keep, like, just chopping at these little groups here, apparently. Yeah, you've got tons of dudes all of a sudden. You might have just spent a bunch of money on mercs. Um, I don't want to be coming. Uh, I think I'm charitable this time. It's fine. Okay, we're at eighty-eight percent. I don't know. We keep we keep gaining stuff, although some stuff's about to get sieged over there, and that might change some of the math. Uh, the Pope leads a most wicked lifestyle. Oh. Well, that happened a lot in history. A lot. Let's see where that guy went. He's got to be over here somewhere. I should... Yeah, that's too many troops. Okay, any chance we could get a few more quickly? Um, no. I really don't want to do more tyrannical stuff, but we might need to. Because I don't think I can win that. I can just siege something random. Ninety-two. Maybe even just winning a few of these tiny little things might might push us over the edge. Uh, diplomacy, learning. Let's go for diplomacy. Ninety-seven percent. But as soon as something gets taken there, it's going to switch. It could go here. I think there's no way to avoid a river crossing, though. Yeah, you're going to take that. And it's going to change things. 99%. Come on, tick over. Nope, 51%. As soon as they siege something. Uh, someone fancies me. Someone who's not gay. Uh, oh, Garrett Pox. No! She has syphilis. How, how about we don't? We have a slight numbers advantage. But again, I don't think there's any way to avoid the cross. Um, oh, right. I can't... Oh, hold on. Betrothed can marry. Oh, that's my cousin who's going to marry the genius. Sounds great. Just 
stop more sieging there. Recruit court physician. Um, unless I can just assign one. Oh, you're pretty good, actually. Here, we're going to assign you. Maybe I can get a tiny merc band really temporarily. It might be possible. I don't know if there's a super cheap one. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough. I can't borrow from the Jews because I still have outlying, outstanding debt over there. Hmm. Part of me is wondering, like, maybe I can just throw in and hope that it's going to be enough to make the difference. Minus 10%, like, I've got slightly more troops, and yeah, the question is, do I have better leaders? <sighs> i got to think about this and what we're going to approach to do. Um, thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time, because this video has gone long enough, and i got to debate as to whether or not it makes sense to attack here. Thanks for watching. See you then.